Well, good day, viewers. Today we have a 2007 GMC Sierra 1500 4x4. It's the 2008 body style, and it's here because randomly the ABS light comes on. So here's the fault code that it's storing in history C0050, right rear wheel speed circuit fault. So we're going to look at some data. So with the truck running on the hoist, I applied heat with a heat gun to the right rear speed sensor and it drops out. Imagine that. So we're going to replace the speed sensor. Well, this is not cooperating. <laughs> Finally. Twist it back and forth and penetrating fluid. That surface area between the seal, the o-ring seal, and the, it rusts in the housing. So it would clean up that bore now, being careful not to damage the reluctor in there. So there's the new speed sensor part number. It's a standard part. I know a lot of you are going to chastise me for not using OEM, but this should be fine. So there's the new speed sensor installed. I still got to plug in the other end. But make sure you clean the mounting surface with a Rolox sanding disc and uh, uh, clean the bore so that there's no rust in there. Be careful not to nick the reluctor, which is about three quarters of an inch in, as you can see here. And we're going to plug it in, put some dielectric grease on the connector and plug it in and make sure it works. So we're going to look at the wheel speed signals on this thing. Uh, left rear, left front, right rear, right front. So they are in order as they would be with this being the top of the page being the front of the vehicle. So I'm going to spin the front left. Actually both wheels turn because it's in, one turns the opposite direction. And I'm going to spin the rear. I'm spinning both rear wheels. And there's no speed signals from either side. And this threw me off. Now obviously because it's in park, one wheel is turning forward, the other one is turning reverse. So I thought I'd do it again with it running. So I'm going to start it up and put it in four wheel drive and, and see what it does. So I've got the vehicle running in park and I'm going to spin both rear wheels. One will turn forward, the other one will turn reverse because of the differential in the, trans, or the drive shaft is in park. And I notice there's no speed thing. Turning the rear wheel, and there's no speed signal. This thing will not register vehicle speed unless it's in drive or reverse running. I'm going to jump in the truck now and put it in drive. So now it's in drive. Both rear wheel speed sensor signals are working just fine. I've never run across that before, but that certainly threw me off, wondering why I don't have any speed signals. Key on, engine off, no speed signals. Start it, put it in drive or reverse, I got a speed signal. Explain that one, GM. So let's see if that generated any codes for the missing front speed signals because I had it in drive. Current codes, none. History codes, okay, we'll clear that one out. So it was a failed speed sensor, it would fail when it got hot. I simulated it by heating it with a heat gun while it was running, but I couldn't get a speed signal from out of both sides unless it was running in gear, reverse or drive. So that's it for now. Hope this helps somebody else, because I've never run across that in all my career. But it kind of makes sense, and it's just programming, isn't it? Thanks for watching.